Latham Jenkins, blogger for Jackson Old Traveler. Today we're out on Stream Lake making our way over to Lee Lake for a little family camping. The String Lake, Lee Lake scenario is a good combo for a family camping trip. All of the campsites are on Lee Lake, um, affording great views of the Tetons, great fishing, there's a little beach, uh, a lot of activities, uh, a lot of water sports, uh, just one of the classic camping scenarios. String Lake is a very shallow lake. It tends to be one of the warmer lakes in the chain of lakes at the base of the Tetons to swim in. In order to get over to Lee Lake, you make this short little, I don't know, mile, mile and a half paddle, and then we do a portage over into Lee Lake. There we go, Lee Lake. <laughs> We've just made the portage from String Lake to Lee Lake. Uh, it's an easy portage, but you do want to pack light. Lee Lake has a lot of campsites on it. Uh, in particular, you can have a group site or a more personalized private site. If you're going to be taking advantage of camping in the backcountry in Grand Teton, you will need a permit, uh, which you can easily get at any of the visitor centers. It's amazing. <laughs> On Lee Lake after a great day of swimming, fishing, sunbathing, playing on the beach. Uh, we're cooking up some s'mores and looking forward to a beautiful evening under the stars sitting in front of the Tetons. One of the many beautiful things about Jackson Hole and Grand Teton National Park are these majestic lakes that sit at the base of the Tetons. They were created from the glaciers coming down out of the mountains, actually hitting the valley floor and scouring out a deep hole in which as those glaciers retreated, filled in the lakes that we have today. In fact, these lakes are very deep. Jackson Lake just to the north of us is over 400 feet deep. Lee Lake behind me is over 200 feet deep. And there are many deep lakes, including Jenny Lake, going south from here. And we really do hope that you get out and take time to enjoy these lakes that sit at the base. There's nothing like just being on the water and just looking up five, six, seven thousand feet straight up into the Teton Range. One of the nicer features about being on Lee Lake is Mount Moran just behind me. One of the bigger mountains in the range and in particular it has five glaciers on it. You can see the falling ice glacier just over my head. There's great fishing on Lee Lake as well. There's cutthroat, mackinaw, brook trout, uh, all in the lake, uh, whether you're spin casting or using a fly rod. The secret to my success is actually using my son's Spider-Man uh, kind of Zebco here, and it really slays him. You gotta fish on. That is a great fish. Look at that fish, Jack. All right. Nice cutthroat trout. Look at him. Pretty Whoa. fish. All right. Whoa. Beautiful yeah. fish. All right. Good job, Jack. You know, something else to consider, even if you're not camping, renting canoes and kayaks uh, at door ends or in town, and the town of Jackson is another great alternative to come out here and just take a great day trip, make a picnic lunch out of it, and get out and enjoy these lakes. Thank you for taking a few minutes to learn a little more about this opportunity for camping with the family on Lee Lake. 
Uh, the parks are a wonderful thing. We hope that you get out and enjoy them. Again, my name is Latham Jenkins, blogger for Jackson Hole Traveler, giving you the local insight. Thank you.